All right, everybody, welcome to the Service MVP podcast. And my name is Joe Crisera, America's service coach. And today we have a very special guest who I've seen online a lot and also at other conferences and things like that. And I recently had the chance to be on stage with this fine gentleman. His name is Sam Taggart, and he is with a company called D2D Experts, a company that goes door to door, show, shows your people how to do it the, do, do the old fashioned way, which is still... The, I, I think it's still essential to uh, really connect with your community. Sam, uh, welcome to our program. I really appreciate this. No, I'm happy to be here. It was, uh, it was fun sharing the stage with you, man. It was an honor. Well, it was, uh, I, was, uh, I, I was uninformed about your, uh, I, I did see it online, but I really never got the gist of the business, but I did learn a lot about you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how somebody like you winds up being a door-to-door -door expert, if you will. Could you go ahead and tell us about how you got in this position? Yeah, I was 11 years old when I first started knocking doors, just like every other little kid trying to sell whatever, and you know, whether it was fundraisers or you know, whatnot. And, but then I took it serious at 13. I started a business called the gutterman where I started painting the addresses on the curbs. I had about 11 of my friends working for me and we would go out and on our bicycles back in the map quest days. And we would go knock. And, um, and then when I was 18, so 2008, I graduated high school and shipped out to Dallas, Texas and sold alarm systems. And I did that all the way till 2015, 2015, I started doing solar and was the vice president of sales of a big solar company. Um, and I was a top performer in the alarm space at, at one of the bigger companies, Vivint. Um, and then in 2018, January, we threw our first door-to-door -door con because I felt like there was a mission that needed to be f unveiled, which was to unify up level and bring honor and integrity to the door-to-door -door space. And I felt like too many people, even in you know HVAC or roofing or whatever industry, they were like afraid to put that mantle on a door to door salesperson. They're like, well, I'm a marketer. I'm a contractor. I'm a service guy. I'm a, you know, but the, nobody wanted to go to their 10 year reunion and be like, I knock doors. Yeah. Look at me. They're like, where did things go <laughs> south? Right. And you know, I, I remember my, my grandma would be like, when are you going to get a real job, Sam? And, and I'm right. doing door to door sales through college. You know what I mean? Thinking like, Oh, it's a four month thing. But I mean, when she's asking questions like this, I'm making a half a million dollars in four months, you know, knocking on doors. And, you know, most people, it's like in their young 20s, aren't going to go make a million or a half a million. They're not going to be doing multiple six figure income off of traditional jobs, W2 jobs. And I'm like, right. what do you mean a real job? What is a real job? So I, I, I kept like seeing the same mantra over and over and over again of like, nobody's really taken door-to-door -door serious. What if they took it as a career or profession uh, and, and, and became the best at it? And then I, I decided to start a conference called Door-to-Door -door Con, which we do every January. We're on to our seventh this January. Um, we have Lance Armstrong and Chris Voss and all these amazing speakers. We have 60 other workshops, Sean White, um, and about 4,000 people there, 100 and something vendors. It's a, it's a whole industry. And you know, for the last seven years, we've been building and training systems online, in person. We have 20 events a year that we do. We have um, different masterminds. I, I, next week, I take 80 business owners to Tahiti. So we have an owner's mastermind where we, you know, meet up and share. And But really, it's I didn't want to be a thought leader. Like, it's funny. I look at, like, the coaches of the world, and I'm like, no, they like that. They're just kind of fake. I hated social media. I hated the whole coaching space. I really just want to throw this event where we helped each other. And I was like, why don't we just share best tips and tricks and share best practices? Because in the world I come from, everybody was a cutthroat and everybody's stealing everybody's people. I'm taking your top reps. I'm taking your top reps. And they hated each other. And after that event, I realized the much more abundance approach. And I couldn't serve two masters. I couldn't be working for a company and be neutral and not like want to steal everybody's people. And so I had to kind of go two feet in into the training side. And that's kind of what birthed DDD experts. And now we've consulted um, now over 400 companies. We've trained over 40,000 sales reps. We've, you know, we've built a massive, simple system, systematic way to go scale a door to door division into companies, which has been really cool. Well, Sam, let me just say something that uh, I, I could tell when you started talking when I saw you on stage, like, 
Like this dude's a brother from another mother. Seriously. <laughs> when, I, when I met you, I'm like, that's exactly how I got started. When I op opened a heating and cooling business, I'm like, you know, and the funny thing is, I don't know how you, you probably feel the same way I do. If you love this kind of a thing, you, there's a sense of comfort. Like, ah, I'm just going to hit that neighborhood and just put my name out there and get to meet people. And I don't know if you feel the same way. It was like, like, you know, oh. this is right for you when you're like, oh man, I feel like I'm at home doing this. Like, would you feel the same way? Oh, we're the, we're the 5% of weird people that it's like, <laughs> we get off by like talking to strangers. We're 95% of normal people or like, I could never do that. I would never do that. Like <laughs> I got off a call with a big HVAC private equity company this morning. And they're like, we've tried the whole door to door thing. I'm like, the problem is you probably hired the W2 guy that said he's in sales and he's selling mattresses somewhere. And you tried yeah. to make him a door to door guy. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't get it. Like, you got to go find the people that are carnivores. You got to go figure out how to breed carnivore into people. And when you get the right culture, you get the right people, you get the right training, you get the right support. There is, I would run circles around everybody's marketing campaign. I'll drop my 30 ninjas into a neighborhood and we'll go dominate a neighborhood uh -huh. versus, you know, I could run a flyers in that neighborhood and nobody up and called me. Like, you're like, yep. cool. Yep. Like, I'm belly to belly convincing people to talk to me and I'm belly to belly closing deals. And I, I agree brother from another mother game, game respects game. Like when you're like, totally, have, totally. let me see your knuckles. And if you have calluses, like I do. <laughs> oh, totally. Got, look at that. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, when you got calluses on your knuckles, we could, we could ask Getting that door, knocking that door. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. It's come full circle too. Cause here at service, we're, we're kind of doing the same thing. We're, we're hitting contractors doors and giving them a free trial of our software and Hey, let's give it a try. At least. Kind of so it has come full circle and definitely, uh, that's why I really believe in the service that you do, and I it would highly recommend it, and uh, I can't wait to uh, work more with you. Sam is here, though, to give us some content so we can be successful and even give it a try yourself if you want to. He can also teach you how to do it with his amazing ninja team. But, uh, Sam, let's go give us, if you can give contractors three solid tips that they can do to begin uh, to become successful in doing door-to-door -door, uh, campaigns. Uh, to get something like a tune-up on the board or maybe an estimate on a tankless water heater or whatever. Uh, how about sewer renovations? You got some neighborhoods where there are sewer pipes that are breaking and you know you have uh, things like that. There's all kinds of campaigns you could do, but go ahead and give us uh, the three tips. Could you start with tip number one? What would you say yeah. is number one? Tip number one is design a program. Nobody wants to be sold, they want to buy. So if you think of like, how do I pitch HVAC or how do I pitch plumbing or how do I pitch something where maybe they didn't fill out a form saying, help me, help me. Right. Like, uh -huh. you know, when I think of marketing, I think of you're going after the people that see the need right away. So they're, they're, they're usually calling a service based on a need instead of your, that's probably, I don't know, 5% of the population. I want to go after the 95% of the people that maybe have thought about the need, they've seen the need, but they're too lazy to think and call and they think it's going to be too expensive. They don't have the money. They don't have the person. They don't know who to call. Like I'm going after the people that like, I, I want to help more proactively and I'm going to go after 95% of the people. I'm willing so this to is like a, it's like a convenience for those people. Like they've they had it in the radar, but it's like, finally, Oh, Actually, I was just thinking about this. Like, yes. yeah, get that kind of light bulb goes off, that kind of a thing. You're going to help them see the light bulb. And, and think of like a roofer. Like, until somebody gets up on their roof and shows them damage, they're not thinking, I'm excited to get new roofs this weekend. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, never, like no, no one's just like naturally like, I'm so stoked to change my HVAC. Like, like, that's the expense I'm hoping to save for this month. Like, nobody hate, nobody, nobody wants that. And nobody wants to even look at it. Ask me yeah. when the last time I looked at my filter was. Like, I don't even Never. look at my filter. Let's be said, no, said nobody so, ever. <laughs> said nobody ever. Like, everybody's like, you're supposed to change your filter every three months. It's like, bull. nobody does that. Like, yeah, yeah. Where the service pros are probably thinking, of course, everybody changes their filter every three months. That's what a normal American should do. I'm like, bull crap. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the first thing I would do is tip number one is design a program that gives you a reason. It justifies your why. Why am I showing up to your door? And if it's like, hey, I'm going to show up because I want to sell you a new HVAC system, good luck. But if you're showing up of like, we're running a program based on, you know, Edge Homes put in this Linux that then was about 15 years ago that had a 15 year warranty. So we're actually doing the routine maintenance of a 15 year service check in. When was the last time you actually had your service, you know, or your, your, your furnace tune up? 
And then you simply say, we're running a program. We're paying for everybody's furnaces to be tuned up X, Y, Z in X, Y, Z timeline with X, Y, Z neighborhood with X, Y, Z people that qualify. And you may be one that does qualify. And they're like, oh, well, that's a cool, what is this program? Like you just, and I'm just whipping something out or we're running the free filtration program. They're like, what is that? They're like, basically um, our company has subsidized a certain amount of filter replacements for this area. So what that means is instead of spending our money on marketing on a billboard, which we hope somebody think and calls us, which is terrible marketing, we actually are doing a same dollar spent into free re filtration replacements. So we're just checking on what filter you have, what, what, what furnace you use, and so that we'll come back and actually change your filter for free. And they're like, what? And you're like, yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's like our marketing dollar. We just want to give you our card. We want to change your filter for free. And that way you have our information. Well, now I'm in the door. Like I'm in the house. I'm talking to them. I'm looking at their furnace. I'm like, dude, this is 35 years old, bro. Like, you know what I mean? But right. I would have never gotten a phone call from some Facebook ad on a 35 year old furnace that should have been replaced forever ago. Unless I went in there and was like, uh, do you like having a furnace that uses twice as much electricity as everyone else? Like, you know what I mean? Like, right, and that's why right. I, can, I start a conversation. So tip number one is have a program. And there's a million ways you can design a program, but it justifies the why. Don't go around just trying to sell something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did one I did one where I had uh, free water purification testing because we have, we've had reports of... Uh, uh, wa water, uh, you know, different contaminants in the water, in the well water yeah. in this area. And so we did one where like, hey, uh, so right now we're offering a free, wa our, our company's invested in uh, subdivision because our owner uh, has, has family in the subdivision. So he decided to uh, go ahead and uh, give everybody a free water purification test. Would you like us to go ahead and do that? It's free. You can see uh, the different samples of things that are in the water. And uh, so we, we try, we believe in the safety and health of the families in this area. What do you think? And they're like, yeah, let's do it. You know, so it's, it's, it's funny because you have to have that campaign, like the special, I call it the special report. Like, uh, yeah. what are we trying to do here? What's, what's the higher purpose in a way? Does that make sense there, Sam? Yes. And, and that, we call it's gotta it be bigger than just, it's gotta be bigger than just selling a furnace or water purifier. It's gotta be like the higher purpose is uh, the safety and health of your family and people like that to make sure that yeah. we're comfortable. Does that make sense there? And then maybe have a slick. So maybe number two, tip number two is have uh, some tip number two. We're going to hang on. Let me stage it for you. What's tip number two, Sam? <laughs> All right. Tip number two is have some credibility and some resource with you at the door. So let's say that we're going with the water purification samples. What I might have to do is I print a slick, meaning I laminate a, you know, sample of here's the five things that we found in your local neighborhood's water. Now, not every home we're finding this, it's based on piping, it's based on their purification, it's based on X, Y, Z. So if we were to red flag any of these five things, what that causes is cancer or this, that, whatever you want to say. And right. so I have something tangible I can give to them and let them hold it, but not keep it, not like a flyer. Yes, it's a yes. split. It's not like here I'm passing out flyers because now that's just a crutch. If you're passing out information, that's a cop out for customer to say, oh, thanks for the information. We'll call you when we're interested, which is not selling. <laughs> now Love you're just it. a glorified marketer. I don't want to go around handing out flyers on people's door. I'm there to close. I wrote a book called ABCs of Closing. It's all about different closing lines to use on the doors in the home. But it's like, how do you um, have some kind of ammo to use as a sales individual? Um, and that would be, Tip number two, I could go on multiple tips. No, that's uh, fine. That's good. No, that's great. So basically, you're not giving us something to take with them and think, yeah, let me think about it. You're kind of creating to think it over if you give it to them, as opposed to, here, take a look at this and just uh, see what you think. Which which of these, you, if you had to take a guess, which one of these you think would uh, fit, fit in your home? And like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's, we got to have this part here where it smells, it smells like chlorine for sure. And that's not, like it's more chlorine than my swimming pool. Oh, my goodness. Well, you want us to do that test and uh, check it out and let you know. I mean, we could, we could, uh, it's up to you. It's, it's not for everybody. I always say, sometimes I'll do, I'll do a little takeaway. It's, it's hey, not for on. everybody. It's not, it's not for everybody, you know, type of a thing there. And they'll say, no, no, we want to get that done. So uh, that's exciting. That's, I like the, that's a really good pro tip about the uh, laminated piece rather than the giving something that they automatically great to think it over, yeah. Sam. Why well, went that HVAC conference we just did? Everybody's all about flyering, uh, mailers, like some kind of like marketing material, but that's cool. 
But ask me how many times I've had a business card. None. I've never had a physical card I've ever given anybody. When they ask yeah. for a card, I say, of course, I'll leave you that all at the end. Meaning, uh -huh. I'm. let me step in real quick. I'll jot you down some information and leave you all that. But my goal is to get inside and sell them. Like, it's not to yeah. be the card and flyer guy. I even use that as a close. I call it the knocked on your door close. It's like, look, I knocked on your door. You didn't call me. I'm not the flyer guy that's going back and forth, back and forth every time somebody calls me. Basically, what we're doing right now in the area is X, Y, Z. And I'll step in and be like, yeah, after we get all this questions and I'll walk you through everything, I'm going to leave you all the information so that you have it all. But that's meaning you've signed, paid me, and now you get all the follow. Like, you get my packet, which I only yeah, carry yeah, four yeah. of those. I only carry four or five flyers maybe that are my packets when I sell them that day. Does that make sense? It does. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I think too many people in sales have this order taking um, type of energy. So if your team, if you're listening to this and your team is a bunch of lead babies, order takers, what we need to do, and this is what my team does is we come out and we, kind of recorrect we do some chiropractic work and turn them into more carnivores and we make uh -huh. some adjustments and we say what are some micro changes like we you know joe and i talked about you know we call it the six pack or you know knock around your build right or knock around your your service so if you have a, a, a truck that's right there helping a customer go to the neighbors and say hey i just want to let you know what the noise and the racket's going to be going on and you and you pitch the neighbors you're like if you're anything like these guys you might have the same problem but I'm, you know, you're kind of unintrusive, but little micro changes where you can get your one dude to go sell one customer from the lead to go talk to eight more people. So now I have mm -hmm. nine conversations happening, not one conversation happening that day. Now I've scaled, I'm scaling exponentially and there's micro changes that we can do on a, you know, on a door to door level on a carnivorous hunt because the lead cost today is going up and no, the wait a second did, did you just give us lead, uh, tip number three without me knowing it oh yeah sorry. <laughs> that was, that, we don't need to limit this it's true it's true we don't have to but I, that's, that's a really good one you gave me the third tip which is uh it goes viral like you get out of, out of the one conversation you can create referrals and other people to get conversations with and uh it kind of kind of get a, get a foundation you got a foothold with somebody it can kind of really go viral at that point uh, in a smaller way, not obviously, you know, millions of people, but even nine people out of a one person conversation, they get the, the parents, the family, the neighbors, and uh, you get uh, kind of like a, a they call the uh, law of association or the uh, yes. social, social validation, right? Like uh, anyway. you're just, I was just over, I was just at your neighbor's house the other day and he said that you'd be a good candidate for this or something like that. Does that sound make sense, sir? Yeah. I mean, you could even, what I would do to the customer is I would say, Hey, I'm going to be talking to all your neighbors. What's their name? What's their name? What's their name? What's their name? Like, don't even be like, who do you know in the neighborhood? Just ask your name. Say, What's their name? What's their name? Of, like, and they're like, Oh, that's Timmy. That's Judy. That's Susan. And I'm like, great. Then I'll go over to Timmy's house and be like, Hey, did you, did Joe tell you I'd be stopping by or Hey, you're Timmy, <laughs> right? you know, and you're just like, Hey, you're Timmy, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, I was just done getting done with Joe's next door. He, you know, basically, I'm assuming you're just like Joe, you know what I mean? And you now have like association, like he's saying. And I think most owners or sales reps, they have this fear of rejection. And here's the change that we need to, to switch is if I go to lead, then I have no fear of rejection because it's like you raised your hand. You're the one that told me to show up. If I go to neighbor, they didn't ask me to show up. So how do we in our internal belief system switch to it's okay to get a no? Nobody like no doesn't mean you get shot in the face and you die. Right. No just means no. That's it. You move on. And if we're walking around as like tail between the legs, afraid to get a no in this business, but we're in sales, like what are we doing? And I, I'm watching the, the, the salesmanship of today's service-based world be extremely soft. And our job is to build more carnivores and put some hunt back in the dog. And even just that micro change of getting them to talk to neighbors will help at least us some rust off and say, go talk to strangers. They, they have a lot of opportunity too, not just the lead that was handed to you. 
Well, I can tell you one thing, Sam. I be- I firmly believe in the the law of action. I believe that the universe rewards people who take action, and they don't reward people who wait for things to happen. And definitely, you know, I'm not sure if you're up for this, but I think I might have to adopt you into my family. And uh, yes, you know, I, I, they call me <laughs> Uncle Joe, but I think I'm going to make you an honorary nephew. Okay, is that okay? Yes, if I, I can be an honorary nephew. <laughs> Love this. I can make an honorary <laughs> nephew and. Uh, uh, it's been what well, you know what you can always tell this kind of thing is so great because they always say a good podcast starts on time but a great one ends on time unfortunately it's not gonna be a great one because it's gone a little bit over but you know what uh, definitely I, I i could probably talk for three, three hours for you about the, with you about this and uh, sam let's not forget to do a really important thing which is to let people know how they can learn about you and the d2d uh, expert uh, sale, uh, service team so they can uh, learn how to do this in a quality way with the right strategy and to, uh, like you said, uh, expand on these efforts as opposed to feeling like it's hopeless. I think that's the thing about it. So many people like call me like, what do I do, Joe? I got no calls on the board. What, what's the fastest way to get people on the thing? And I, I want to tell them this. Now I actually have somebody to go to and yeah, I, I can't we, tell you how yeah. many leads I'm going to, I'm going to give you so many leads. I can't even say, you better get ready to get crushed with uh. leads, sir, Sam. You know? We 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 are the best at that. Like, here's the thing. I I watch so many people start these HVAC companies, and they're like, I need fifty grand to start it because I got to get a website and marketing and buy ad space and put all my media together. And I'm like, oh shit. We call that death by business card. <laughs> you're right. You're right. When I started in solar, I didn't even have a shirt. I didn't even have a website. I didn't have a business card. And I'm like, somebody's like, hey, what's your website? I was like, I honestly don't even know. And they're like, what? And I was like, but. <laughs> like, it doesn't cost a dollar it just costs your freaking blood sweat and bloody knuckles yep. and so ddd experts you can find us at the ddd experts.com you can look us up on youtube ddd experts and me the sam taggart you can find me on instagram youtube but i'd love for you guys to schedule a call with one of our team members where we can ideate whether it's recruiting the right people, whether it's scaling and strategy your business, or whether it's just simple sales training of what to say and how to say it. Those three are our forte. So please reach out. We'd love to help you. And we've helped thousands of contractors all over the country in many different industries. And we're happy to support anybody that's listening. And you've done that just now on this on this podcast, helping thousands of people as well. Sam, thank you so much for being here. And definitely, it's an honor to have you on this program. Appreciate it.